Hey Bikes, I'm here with Miss Geist. Today. In today's show, we talked talk to Mrs. Geist about the cheer yes. team, and we also have the second edition of Can You Hang With The Slang. I'm Mike. And I'm Kylie, and this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. There will be a girls swim informational meeting tomorrow during CALP in room 911. Autumn went and talked to Mrs. Geist about cheer tryouts. Hey Bikes, I'm here with Miss Geist today. Could you tell us some more information on the cheer parent meeting? Yes, so tonight we're having a parent meeting for those that are interested in trying out to be a cheerleader for next year. So at the meeting tonight, we are gonna discuss what the tryout process is like, changes to the program, and finances. It's gonna be at 6 p.m. in the library. Okay, can you also tell us some more information on cheer tryouts? Yeah, so tonight's just a parent meeting, but tryouts will actually start March 21st. They'll be here at the high school. It's a Saturday, so you'll come in for a couple hours. We'll do a mini clinic, and then you'll try out. Okay, thank you so much. Bikes, if you're interested in cheer, please come to the parent meeting and tryouts. Make sure to go to the meeting if you're interested. There will be a representative from the zoo here next Monday during CALP if you're interested in being part of the Topeka Zoo's Youth Council. Now to sports with Ike after this quick commercial break. Stop! <laughs> Got a teddy bear? Want to viciously throw the bear like the animal it is? Hot diggity dog, the animal teddy bear toss is set for next Friday, February 14th, during the halftime show. All of the proceeds will be donated to our young lives. Soldier Boy Tell Soldier Boy I've been it Why me quacking Snowball Boys basketball played at Washburn Rule last night, losing 44 to 51. The Scholars Bowl varsity team took third place at the league Scholars Bowl meet last week. Nice job, Vikes. The Spirit Club game things will be blue out for Thursday and black out for Friday. That's all for sports. Let's go see what kind of weather information Joshua has cooked up for us. Good afternoon to you. We had a little bit of snow this morning, but the more impactful part of the storm system missed us to the south. So down in Oklahoma and Texas, we have a winter storm warning in play. This actually extends into far southeast Kansas and portions of Missouri as well. But here in Topeka, we are on the edge of the winter weather advisory, and that means just a little bit of snow. It might impact travel but that was mainly early this morning. So here we go for today, that heavy snow missing us to the southeast. The, the Chiefs parade, just some light snow for that, but the heavy snow will miss us to the south. And here at home, by three o'clock, I do think the flurries are tapering off and pushing off to the east by that time. The big story now turns to the cold. So check out these wind chills as we go 
throughout the next several hours holding steady in the low to mid 20s and will bottom out in the upper teens and lower 20s by tomorrow morning so it is going to be a cold start to your Thursday but here's some good news on the seven day forecast we will see plenty of sunshine for your Thursday finally it's been a while since we've seen the sun and then starting to warm up up into the 40s for Friday Saturday and Sunday then a little bit cooler with a possible storm system arriving next Tuesday or Wednesday. And in the longer range, here's what we're looking at. Below average temperatures and above average precipitation from around February 12th through the 18th. That could mean some snow during that time period. We'll track it as it gets closer. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Joshua. That weather's looking pretty dope. Speaking of dope, here's Can You Hang With The Slang. Hey, Vikes. Hope you enjoyed the first edition of Can You Hang With The Slang. Here's another one for you. If I were to call someone the GOAT, what does that mean they are? Probably means they messed up in their situation. Not quite. It means they're the greatest of all time. Maybe in your world. Uh, the GOAT, I believe, typically refers to the greatest of all time. That is correct. Uh, if I were to call something dope, what is that thing? If you're a dope? No, if I was to call something dope, what is that thing? Call something dope? Well, dope is when you are smoking it up. <laughs> I think dope would mean... Uh, like it was good? Um, what does esketit mean? Esketup? Esketit. Esketit. Um, what does esketit mean? No clue. All right. It means let's get it. Why? Because Lil Pump. I have no idea. It means let's get it. So if I were to describe something as fire, what is that thing? Flame. It's hot. That's right. Fire would be good. Like, that's pretty sweet. Like, um, um, like I was on fire when I was running the half marathon. What is 12? It's after 11 and before 13. <laughs> that's 12. Actually, it's the Popo. 5 0 police. Like, one Adam 12? Oh, that, you no, don't know because, what that one is either. No, because okay. 1 plus 1, because 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 12. No, because 1 out of 12. The popo. Okay. <laughs> it's a joke. Yes. All right, we're done here. All right. Thanks. Uh, what is 12? It's a number that comes after 11, before 13. That's correct, but uh, in the slaying me. <laughs> That's exactly what, that's exactly what said, Hoffman it said. Comes after oh, okay, that's you. Hey Vikes, hope you enjoyed this edition of King Hank the Slay. We'll be back with more heat soon. <laughs> Looks like those teachers could sort of hang with the slang. That's all we have for today. Tomorrow we're going to find out how debate did at state. Have a good day, Vikes. <laughs>